four years ago, on the 15th of May, this bad boy right here was released. It's four years old, can you believe it? And still to this day, people associate it only for live streamers. I'm going to change your mind. How's it going folks? Welcome to another video. If you do like this one, hit like and subscribe and feel free to share your own tips and tricks with the stream deck in the comments as well. As I was saying, the first iteration of the stream deck was out on the 15th of May 2017 and it's Big Brother, the Stream Deck XL came out about two years after that, 27th of May 2019. The majority of the people will still associate this only for use for people that live stream when in reality it has a million and one uses that even I can't come up with. But today I'm going to cover my top five tips and tricks for the Stream Deck that aren't to do strictly with streaming. Let's take a look. First trick on the list is opening software on your computer. Now, as daft as that seems, a lot of people don't know that you can actually do this. I've got mine set up for opening programs like Photoshop, Premiere, uh, Battle.net, Discord, just a bunch of buttons that are on the home screen. I click it, software opens up. It is super simple. It's even easier to set up by going into the system tab and using the open command, you can set your stream deck to open up any piece of software on your computer. Fantastic. My second tip, or your stream deck is to use hotkeys within the programs that you use frequently. Now, for me, I use Adobe Premiere to edit some videos. And when I press my command for opening up the Premiere, I get instant access to 14 shortcuts that I've made on my stream deck. And it is fantastic. It's never been easier to cut up, edit, put together some clips into Premiere as it is using my stream deck as a little control pad. It's important to note that it's not just limited for video editing, you can use this for just about anything and you can go into the program settings and change the hotkeys and make sure you've got the hotkeys set up on your stream deck correctly and it'll work like a charm. A little bonus tip I'll throw in right here, when you first install the stream deck software it looks quite limited but down at the bottom right of the software there's a button that says more actions and if you click that it opens up a massive list of add-ons that are available for your stream deck. This list covers everything from YouTube channel statistics, the stock market and controlling lights in your house. I think that's pretty cool. Moving on to the third tip on the list is controlling your music on your computer with your stream deck. Using the more actions button I've been able to link my stream deck directly to my Spotify and I can control everything from play pause, volume, specific playlists, specific songs, all of that from the Stream Deck. If you frequently listen to music on your computer, I highly, highly recommend that you do this. Play playlists at the touch of a button, songs at the touch of a button, you can rock out really hard, music full blast, and then suddenly you want to turn it down somebody's talking to you, just pause it or mute it straight from the Stream Deck. No hunting around for Spotify window or play pause or anything like that. Brilliant. My next tip does involve OBS Studio but it's not for live streaming to Twitch or YouTube. If you're presenting something for your work or in school, you can use OBS as a virtual camera, which will allow you to present directly using your camera. And in turn, you can use your stream deck to control your Zoom or your Microsoft Teams meeting the same way that you would control a live stream. You can have your camera in certain positions you can have PowerPoint, uh, whatever piece of software you're using, open as well. And you can shift around, next slide, previous slide, move your camera around, hide your camera, all the same way you would with the live stream. But you can do that for work productivity. And a lot of people don't think about that. My final tip for the video is a little bit of a fun one. Now, if you've ever been in Discord messing around with your friends and you've wanted to kind of have a funny effect on your voice, like a scary monster voice or a little baby voice, you can do that by using your Stream Deck and installing the voice mod add-on for it. Under more actions, I think it's like the second one sorted by most popular. You can change your voice instantly on the fly using your Stream Deck. A little bit of fun. And that folks just about does it. I wanted to get rid of a lot of the stigma from thinking that Stream Decks were only for people who live stream and that there's a lot more uses to it. It's not overly complicated. I hope you learned something new. 
like the video if you liked it just like if you disliked it and hit subscribe for more i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya